Hi everyone, welcome back. We're going to be doing another differential equation or separable equation problem today. It looks like this, dy over dx equals 2 times the square root of y, and they give us an initial condition, y of 0 equals 9. The instructions on this problem are actually to solve the initial value problem given here. So you may think that this is an initial value problem, and it is, um, but the reason that it makes it uh, a separable or differential equations problem is because the way that we're going to go ahead and solve it is to separate the variables y's on one side, x's on another side, integrate, and then um, plug the initial condition back in to come up with an explicit formula for y. So the way that that looks, the first thing we want to do is separate the variables. So we're going to multiply both sides by dx. We get dy equals 2 times the square root of y times dx. Then we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by the square root of y. We get dy over the square root of y equals 2 dx. So now we've solved, or sorry, not solved, we have separated the variables. We have y's on the left side, we have x's on the right side. That's what makes this a differential equations or separable equations problem, is that we needed to separate the equations in order to solve it, or separate the, the variables in order to solve it. So now that we've done that, we need to integrate both sides. But before, um, before I do that, I want to actually simplify the left side here. I need to move this square root of y to the top of the fraction, to the numerator, to make it easier for me. Uh, I personally find it much easier to deal with when I have something in the numerator than in the denominator, so I'm going to head and convert. And what that's going to look like, of course we all remember that the square root of anything, right, is um, like the square root of x would be x to the one half. So this is actually y to the one half. Let's go ahead and change that, y to the one half. Then, of course, to move it to the top, all I need to do is change the sign on the exponent. So right now we have a positive one-half. If I want to move it to the top, then I just have to change it to a negative. So I have y to the negative one-half dy. It's now in the numerator as opposed to the denominator. Equals 2 dx. So I've simplified to a point where I feel comfortable taking the integral. So now... I take the integral of both sides. Taking the integral is step two of any differentiable equations problem. First was separating the variables, next is taking the integral of both sides. So to take the integral of the left side, we of course add one to the exponent, so let's say y negative one-half plus one is positive one-half, and then of course we divide the coefficient by, which is a one, one is implied there, by the new exponent which is one-half. Of course, one divided by one-half is two, so we can go ahead and simplify that right now and write two. So this is the integral of the left side. We're done there. We set that equal. The integral of two is two x, and it's x because we have x's on this side. So we have two x, and then of course we always add c to the right side of the equation with x's very important that you remember to add c here at this point in the problem instead of at the very end because anything, any algebra that we perform after this point needs to involve the c. So as soon as you integrate, remember to add c to the right side. You're only adding it to the right side, not to the left side. So go ahead and do that. Now that we've integrated, um, we can go ahead and let's simplify this. I'm just going to change y to the one-half back to the square root of y, so it's a little easier to look at, 2x plus c. Okay, so this is our, our function. At this point, we can go ahead and plug in the values from our initial condition, because what we want to do now is plug these in so that we can solve for c, and then come up with an equation that's equal to y at the very end as our answer. So let me go ahead and erase the rest of this so that, so what do we have? We have 2 times the square root of y 
equals 2x plus c. So we can go ahead and plug in our values. This of course being x and this representing y. So we go ahead and plug in 9 for y. So we have 2 times the square root of 9 equals 2 and then we have 0 for x plus c. So as you can see we have 2, the square root of 9 is 3. So 2 times 3 equals 0 plus c. 6 equals c. Okay, so now that we've solved for c, we can go ahead and plug it back in to our equation up here. So we have 2 times the square root of y equals 2x plus 6. And now all we need to do is solve for y. So remember, separate the equations, or the, the variable, sorry, integrate, plug in the values from the initial condition to solve for c, and then solve for y. Those are the four steps. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. We'll be left with the square root of y equals and if we divide both sides by, or this whole, uh, this whole side of the equation by 2, we actually end up with x plus 3, right? 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And now what we need to do is square both sides, right? If we square a square root, the square root will go away. So we have to square both sides, and the, the 2 and the square root cancel here, and we're just left with y equals x plus 3 squared. And that's our final answer. Thanks, guys.